Well, what's up guys, Matty S here back with another video. Today we're checking out some chicken coop from Baytown Sarama on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, just checking out his setup today. Very happy I got to come over here in Houston and check it out. <laughs> I was so yeah, man. This is where all the magic happens. That's what he says. He uh, focuses on Malaysian ceramics, as you can see. You can see, you can see the arch on the back. Got that uh, that that S shape, that cerama shape. Uh, look at that. You got power in this mother sucker. Nice. Got a little locking system. Got numbers on his pins, man. This thing looks so sick. I saw his uh, thing on Facebook, and I was like, dude, I gotta see this setup in person. I gotta get some ideas. Um, again, he does raise ceramics, so you can see uh, that arch and that, the size of them. They're really small, man. He's molting right now this guy you could tell it's just that time of the season got some white ceramas and then this guy oh my god talk about a fucking nice bird look at this look at this this is uh, a sucker if you can't tell color shape attitude look how he's singing from the hens doing his thing letting everyone know he's in charge of the pen again look at his size and color man oh my god yeah i don't want to really handle him because uh I believe he's going to the show later on this month in Dallas. But yeah, look at these ceramics. Dang. See, like in here, he has like a little drainage system. He uses like concrete as like the base and then fills it up with those pellets. Those are like pine pellets. I believe they use it for like horses and stuff. Um, but yeah, he has like a little draining system. As you can see, it comes out the side here. Um, and also on the bottom, he has some runners. Um, you can see also has a drainage system, a branch in there so they could roost up on. And these are some of his, some of his future hens that he's going to be using for uh, breeding and for his aztecas. And and man, they are looking good. They're going through the moat. You can see it definitely on that hand. Uh, her back feathers are starting to come in. He and those blue feathers. And then over here, we got one of his favorite birds. Obviously, the favorite bird always gets the most space, always gets the most honeys. And yeah, he's just roaming around in there doing his thing. Just like a dog kennel type of thing. Made out of concrete. Yeah, man. Nice. Oh, and then you can see, like, uh, he has some runners just because he does bring his birds out to get some sun. Again, guys, sun is, like, the, one of the most important things you got to have for your birds. Um, but, yeah, we're going to check out his um, other coops over here. All right, here's another coop. It's just, like, a little grower. Um, he got quite a bit of birds in there. I uh, don't want to open it. Don't want any of the birds to get out. But, yeah, you kind of see all the birds in there. It's a nice thought. Find a place to get out was a good spot. And we know that we sat through the bumps in the road. It's a corner ride when the wood rides. When an end of my sentence, a full stop. Take and I could put time on a shot clock An example of reap what you sowing But you so impatient, blame me for the background uh, I know, I know That you gon' feel it anyway But you act like you don't feel a single thing Videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday